If you are tired of going through the tedious process of importing 3D assets into Blender, well, today I have some good news for you. Introducing drag and drop import, an add-on that simplifies the process of importing files into Blender. With this add-on, you don't need to go through the menu or dialog to load your files, you just drag them from your file explorer and drop them into Blender 3D viewport or outliner. The add-on supports a wide range of file types including FBX, GLP, GLTF, OBJ, BSD, Blend files, MP4, MOV, etc. Now for this video, let's dive into some of the features of this add-on. First up, we have basic drag and drop feature, so when you drag a file using only the left mouse button, the file will be imported with the default settings from that particular file type. But what if you want to change the import options? Well, that's where the second feature comes in. You can either drag the file using the right click button, or hold down the control key while dragging the file using the left mouse button to change the import options. Now let's talk about the image importing feature. When you drop an image, a menu will appear asking how you would like to import the image, as a plane, as a reference image, or as a background image. To change the import settings, drag with the right click and hold control while dragging. Next up we have multiple files. You can select multiple files and drag them all at once. This will import all the selected files with the default settings for their respective file types. However, if all of the files are of the same file type, you will be able to change the import settings before importing them. If you want to import a whole folder, you can do that too. When you drag your folder, all of the content will be imported, and if all of the files inside the folder are of the same file type, you will be able to change the import settings before importing them. Otherwise, the files will be imported with their default settings for their respective file types. Lastly, if the dragged folder contains other folders, all of their content will be also imported. The imported files will be organized by collections. But that's not all. The add-on also have some additional features, like VDB sequence can be imported by dragging a sequence of VDB files or a tree of folders containing multiple VDBs. And by dragging HDR or EXR files, they will automatically be set up as a scene HDRI. So as you can see, this add-on can be a game changer for those who work with Blender. It simplifies the process of importing files and gives you more control over the importing options. Now, if you want to check out this add-on, link is in the description. Tell me in the comments below what do you think about this add-on. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this one. Thank you for watching and goodbye.